Is it just me, or are things starting to get a little uncomfortable for Christians? Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I want to talk to you guys about persecution. Yeah, persecution is, is basically just when you are treated badly because of what you believe. And there are lots of different degrees of, of persecution. You know, it could be as, as little as, you know, people giving you dirty looks because they know you believe in Jesus, or it could go all the way to being tortured and killed for the sake of Jesus Christ. And I live in America, and, and a lot of people say that America is a Christian nation, or at least it was, that, that it was founded on Christian principles. But I think that more and more America as a whole is starting to kind of drift away from God. Now, I'm not trying to say that America used to be perfect and now it's terrible. America has done some really terrible stuff in our history. But I do believe that it's becoming more and more common to be looked down on just because you're a Christian, just because you believe in Jesus Christ and, and want to live his way. And I see a lot of angry Christians, really, really angry Christians, because it used to be so easy to be a Christian, and now it is becoming more and more difficult. Christians used to have pretty much no persecution in America, and now we're kind of starting to get into the, you know, the dirty look territory. And in some cases, a lot worse than that. And though persecution is wrong, I think that anger is, like, biblically speaking, not the right response. For every bad thing that has ever been done to a child of God, there will be a reckoning. But that's not going to come from us. God is the defender of the persecuted. God is the defender of the afflicted. No, the Bible says that if we are persecuted, we're supposed to rejoice. Now, all persecution is uncomfortable. It wouldn't be persecution if it was comfortable. So you might be saying, why in the world should I rejoice if people are treating me badly when I didn't do anything wrong? Well, actually, the Bible says that if you want to do what is good, if you want to follow Jesus Christ, you will be persecuted. The only people who follow Jesus who are never persecuted are the ones who stop following Jesus as soon as things get hard. And the thing to remember when times are hard, like specifically when people are mistreating you because of what you believe, the thing to remember is that this is not our home. If this world was all there was, then Christians would be more pitiable than any group of people ever. But the time we spend on earth is going to be just a teeny, teeny, tiny little blip in our eternity with God in heaven. And we will be richly rewarded in heaven for every bad thing that happens to us on account of Christ. Now, I do want to point out that sometimes people feel like they're being persecuted, like that they're being treated badly, and they say, oh, I'm just, you know, doing what God wants me to do. But they're actually being mistreated because they're just being mean, right? Like, there might be people who say, well, God hates it when people do this, and so I'm going to hate these people who are doing this thing, and when they hate me back, that's persecution. No, that's not persecution. That's just what you get for being mean. There's great reward for being persecuted for the sake of Christ. And there's no reward at all for being treated badly because you treated somebody else badly. Now, that said, there are some people who try to, you know, kind of twist that where they say, if you don't agree with me, then you hate me. And God doesn't want us to hate our neighbors. So we think, oh, well, I have to agree with you in order to not hate you, in order to fulfill the command that says, love your neighbor. They say, if I'm not agreeing with them, then I hate them. That's not loving them. So I need to agree with them in order to love them. But that's not how it works. Now, when we do call sin, sin, even if that hurts somebody's feelings, we don't have to be mean about it, right? Because the truth is that we're all sinners. And it's not that their sin is worse than our sin, but it is important that we not call evil good and we not call good evil. Just as it's important that we love our neighbor as ourselves and show kindness to them, even if they're not doing what's right. And if you stand up for what's right, even if you're doing it the way you're supposed to do it, even if you're doing it in a kind way, you will be persecuted. Jesus has called us to take up our cross and follow him. And so my challenge to you guys today is that if you are a Christian and you are starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable, if persecution is starting to become a part of your life, don't get mad. Certainly don't seek vengeance, but instead rejoice. For great is your reward in heaven. God can do amazing things through persecution. In fact, I think that it's through persecution that Christianity has been proven true, right? People have tried so many times to 
wipe Christianity off the face of the earth, and it never worked. And in fact, when Christians are persecuted, sometimes when it's the worst of the worst, that's when we see revival in the hearts of unbelievers. Those are some of the times where you can see the most unbelievers becoming Christians. During times of some of the harshest persecution, it seems backwards, but that's, that's the way it is. The kingdom of God, the church, the body of believers is, is growing even, if not especially, in places where, where it's very, very hard to be a Christian. Persecution is never fun, but what an amazing honor to be able to suffer for Christ. If you're being persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for the sake of Jesus Christ, I promise you that you will not be disappointed by what is waiting for you on the other side of heaven. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And hey, I really do hope that if you are suffering for the sake of Christ, that you would hang in there. Satan wants to make you mad, right? Satan wants to make you hate people who hate you. But that's not what Christ wants. Christ wants us to love our enemies. Because it's only through God's love that our enemies can become our brothers and sisters in Christ. Yeah, it's hard to be persecuted, but one day God will make all things right. And it will be so, so worth it. And hey, would you mind doing me a really big favor? Would you would you stop right now and would you would you pray for those who are being persecuted around the world? You know, like for me, things are super easy, but there are some places in the world where being a Christian is a death sentence. And that can be really, really hard. So I would love it if you would pray for peace and comfort and strength for those who are being persecuted, those who are laying down their lives for the sake of Jesus Christ. And that you would pray for those who are doing the persecuting, that they would see the love and power of Jesus Christ and that they would be changed. Thanks, guys. You're the best. Hang in there.